Digital art wasn't always as popular as nowadays, believe it or not. However, with its recent ascension, the programs used to make it followed along. A noticeable software among many is most definitely CSP, or Clip Studio Paint, and today we'll take a look at 12 facts that surround it. Continue, let me tell you about Skillshare, which is a platform that has hundreds of classes about animation, drawing, illustration, and several other creative fields. We've got you guys this course from the Skillshare website about Clip Studio Paint, which will guide you through the software. It's an introductory course that is designed for absolute beginners, and it is taught by Asia Noble, who will show you the basics about Clip Studio Paint. The course covers topics such as the interface basics, how to use the tools and layers, and more. The Skillshare platform offers a wide variety of additional related courses, and the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will receive a free month of premium membership. All right, now back to the video. Let's start with a little background check with fact number one. CSP was released in 2001 on both Mac OS and Windows under the name of Comic Studio in Japan and advertised as Manga Studio in the Western market. The earliest versions were designed to support black and white art exclusively since it's the typical Japanese manga format. But since then, the software kept undergoing many upgrades, such as the introduction of full colors in the fourth version, and the change of the name to the one that we know it for today. Speaking of upgrades, let's check this one with the second fact. If you've tried your hand at drawing before, and no matter what kind of artwork you chose to make, you probably thought of finding a reference, and then proceeded to spend hours spiraling down the internet looking for it. At some point, 3D models became a solution for referencing, but were hard to access. You see you need a different software, one that can handle 3D models. This is why the CSP 3D Objects option is probably one of the most revolutionary. It comes integrated within the software without any additional cost. It's easy to access and even easier to use. There's even a continuously updated library of preset poses, backgrounds, and all kinds of shapes and objects. Anatomy and perspective were never made this easy to try out. And this leads us to the third fact. The 3D models we just mentioned can all be downloaded from the CSP Asset Store. That's the name of the space dedicated to all kinds of digital tools made either by the CSP developers themselves or artists' contributions. Brushes, image materials, gradient set, frame templates, and 3D characters. It has it all to make your digital art journey worthwhile. Once you acquire the CSP license, you can create an account with your email to navigate CSP assets and look for different kinds of material. Some of it is paid, of course, but most of it is free and the online library keeps expanding. The fourth fact may be a little early on a facts list, but here we go. Digital art looks different compared to traditional, that's for sure. But one of its most notable advantages is its versatility. Using the assets found in the library mentioned previously or even with just the pre-installed brushes, you can make your art look and feel traditional, and a very believable one. Watercolor, markers, color pencils, texture, or even calligraphy, all the necessary tools are available to make it look handmade. Moving on to the fifth fact, and this one should definitely be kept hidden from the digital art haters, an automatic coloring feature. But of course, worry not, it's not as bad as it sounds. No option will even aspire to fill an artist's shoes. But this one may help with general coloring or color sketching. You basically go to the menu bar, click on edit and choose colorize technology preview. With the help of a line art and splashes of colors on a separate layer, CSP will do its best to distribute the colors in order to make it look organic. The result is often questionable, but decent if you're in a hurry or experimenting with colors. Fact number six was a dream for any manga artist, and it came true. We present you the Easy Screen Tones option. Above the layer window, there's a smaller one called Layer Properties, and it has this one magical button that turns anything on it to screen tones. 
The third button from the left looks like a grid and is called tone. Now, all you have to do in order to shade your work with a screen tone is just to shade it the regular way on a separate layer and then click on the tone button. Keep in mind that you can personalize the screen tones by editing the frequency, density, and even choose the dot settings to make it look exactly like you imagined it. Fact number seven might be as lucky in information as in its number. Why, you may ask? Because perspective, duh. You may finally be able to tame your nightmare with these perspective rulers. Whether you're planning on making one point, two points, or three points perspective drawing, CSP has a ruler for each one of them. You can choose your horizontal line, adjust your points, and follow the automatically generated grids to know exactly where to put what. Even the 3D object gets their own perspective rulers and grids in order to always keep you oriented. How cool is that? We're getting specific with this eighth fact. What are you making? An illustration, a comic, a webtoon, or maybe a fanzine? Whatever it is, CSP allows you to choose from six pre-configured options on the new work window, then personalize them as you wish. You do this by simply clicking on the new icon, using the Ctrl N shortcut, or go into the menu bar, selecting File, then New. The list of options on the new window varies from one project to another, so take your time to explore them. Fact number 9 is another controversial one, and it's about backgrounds. CSP basically converts any 3D background you may have selected from CSP assets, its material, or even a real photo into lines and screen tones, or just lines, thus generating line-arted backgrounds within a minute. It works especially well with 3D objects, and you can do it in just a few clicks. Select the 3D background or photo layer, right-click and choose Convert to Lines and Tone. A small window will appear, allowing you to adjust the lines and tones to wish. Remember to click on Preview, though, to see the changes unfold before approving them. And you're welcome! DIY much? Yes, with this fact. You can customize the brushes you have within Clip Studio using the Tool Property window, or create your own from scratch. Basically, all you have to do is draw the brush tip you wish to use in black or gray shades on a separate layer. Then select Layer, Register Material, and click on Image. A new window will appear where you'll have to choose its name and folder, and check the box for Use for Brush Tip Shape. This will let the image you created show up when the time comes to choose the brush tip for your new brush. When it comes to manga and comics, it's hard to do better than this 11th fact. Framing templates, sound effects, speech bubbles, grass brushes, speed lines, cross hatching, etc. It's all laid out there for us to just draw the story. CSP has probably the most impressive collection of everything needed to make the most complete manga or comic. It's all free and customizable. Shades of gray or colors. CSP gives us no space for excuses, and all of this is to get things done. Let's finish our list with an unexpected fact for drawing and illustration software. Animation. Despite mostly being a drawing slash painting program, CSP integrated 2D animation features, allowing the users to create what they call a moving illustration using the flipbook method. This feature keeps being updated and improved, thus making CSP an all-in-one 2D software. Last but not least, here's an extra fact on the house. Clip Studio holds monthly theme tutorial contests, giving us the opportunity to access a huge online library for all kinds of tutorials to check and learn. Let us know in the comment which fact you liked the most and which one you didn't know about. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the bell to get notifications on our latest content. That being said, thank you for watching as always, and see you next time.